Hey, what's going on everybody? I have the Emerald Guard Review for you today. And there are two main builds for Emerald, but there's one very popular one, and that is the Fall Transmute build. The way to properly build this is not to put everything into defensive stats, but to put a little bit into attack. I noticed that there are people out there who just put all the points into defense and just make giant hit points with the Transmute imprint and then do all the chip damage with Fall and Emerald. However, you do want some attack. I would probably put 100 attack into the Emerald and then up it to around 200 or more when you're level 80. The reason for this is that you want to deal offensive damage as well as passive damage. So with this 100 points into attack, you're capable of killing more often. You know, say a guard hits you and that guard's put down to like 100 hit points or something. Your crush attack or super punch or whatever you do is probably not going to kill it if it's at base attack. So with the 100 points into it, it's going to kill more often. Also, I do want to say that if you put the 100 points into defense, then it's just an extra 200 hit points. And if your hit points are already into the 2000s and almost breaching 3000, then what is that 200 hit points, you know? He already has enough health to survive a lot of damage. So once again, the Fall Transmute Emerald build is by far the most popular build for Emerald. It's just rock solid. The next one is a hybrid build. This build is a little bit more techy. It uses strong offense to hit hard with the Super Punch. And it also, because of the hybrid, can use light attacks to kill the Dark Guards. This build covers a lot of bases. And depending on which empowerment you choose, it could cover even more. I chose the Mirror Empowerment because of all of the light attacks going around in PvP. And if you compare it with the Fall Transmute build, if a Ski Knot hits that Fall Transmute Emerald, then the Ski Knot is going to put itself down to one hit point. Well, it's the same thing with this build. If the Ski Knot hits this, the combination of both Emerald and Mirror are going to put it down to one hit point, so the Emerald can easily smash it on its turn. It's also good against a lot of other guards, especially Colossus. If a Colossus runs into this, then it's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> there are also other empowerments that you can use with it. You could stick with Fall, but it's not as good because the hit points aren't as high. Depending on the slot, you can do Sacrifice. Depending on the other guards in your team, you could opt for the Magic Empowerment. And even though this is mainly a Physical Beats to kind of build, the Magic will help with the Light Attacks and also the other teammates. But one cool thing is that the magic could boost the opponent's M attack. Therefore, they'll deal more damage to the emerald and then take more damage because of the emerald ability. So that's kind of cool. But like I said, that's kind of a tech choice. It depends on the other guards in your team. Overall, I chose mirror because it allows emerald to act as a physical beat stick and also reflect the fall transmute idea as well. So those are the two top emerald builds. And I do want to say that Emerald is a good choice for a ground team. It's absolutely devastating. Anyways, that is the Emerald Guard Review. Once again, you have the ever so popular Fall Transmute build, and then you have the Tech Hybrid build. Again, Mirror is probably the best choice for it, but you can use other empowerments to suit whatever you want to do. I'd like to thank you for watching my video, and if you have any comments, post them down in the comments box below. I read all of them. Have a good day. Bye.